every day is just about the same thing. Every day I get the same routine. Yeah, you get up and you go to work, come home, you cook dinner, and go to bed and do the same thing. I'm working at Walgreens. I've been working at Walgreens for about 17 years now. I started off as a cashier, and now I'm a photo specialist there. When I first started at Walgreens, I was making $7.20 an hour. We got a raise like once a year. It could have been somewhere around a quarter to maybe 50 cents was the most. How you doing today? I am good. How you doing today? Oh, trying to say cool. It's so hot outside. It is. It's very hot outside. <laughs> then after that, they raised the minimum wage up. It went up to like $13. After being there for over 10 years, I wasn't even at $13. So it was like a slap in all our face to know that like you've been there all these years and you're still making the same thing as people who just getting hired. It was tough. I'm not able to live off of minimum wage. I had times where I can literally get paid that morning and by the afternoon my whole check was gone. I would never want my kids to see the worries that I, I have. I'm not gonna have gas for the next couple days. I'm gonna have to make this gas that I do have there and stretch. I couldn't take my kids to McDonald's if they asked for it. I couldn't give them money to go to the book fair at school because I didn't have it. Because it was either going towards rent or a certain bill. I barely get by. Hmm. Oh, you want some of what? Oh, we don't need a shopping cart. Mommy's just gonna get a few things. Oh, grab that one. I would like to see a change of employment. I got it. But what else could I be doing with the education I have? I need two more. There we go. You can't get hired with just a high school diploma. I don't feel like I'm smart enough to go to school, but I feel like if I wanted something better than a minimum wage job, I have to get a higher education. Oh, okay. What you gonna get? You gonna get candy or you want chips? And it's like, how can you get it? I you gonna get one more? I get two. You can't try to work on yourself and also have a job and be a parent too. So it's like something's gonna have to be pushed to the side. Thank you. No. Who's gonna help with the bag? Me. Come on, let's go. I'm a single mother of four kids. My son Malcolm is 17 years old. He'll be a senior this year. My daughter is Maya. She's 12, my only princess, going to sixth grade. There go Mookie. There go my Mo. My chunky boy, Joseph, he's going to first grade. And then I have Jason, who's four. You want some bacon? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and some cinnamon rolls. Today, we are celebrating my dad's 69th birthday. We're gonna have a little barbecue for him today at my mom's. When are we going to go? Like around four. My mom and me, we were having issues. It had caused a little strain on our relationship. And it caused us to not speak to each other for about two years. This will be the first time that we will be together like this and I'm a little nervous on how it might go, and I don't want to ruin it. Not, not on my dad's birthday, either. Hi, my daddy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hey, everybody. Hi. Hi. How you doing, Mom? I'm OK. I'm trying to figure out how to finish up these thoughts. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. How you doing? I am a little nervous about how this can go, and I hope nobody brings it up because we are all like strong and we all butt heads about every little thing. My mom met my father when she was about 14. By the time she was 21, she had me, so she had six kids by then. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. My dad, 
He was born and raised in Puerto Rico. He came here when he was about 17. Girl, I never seen that. He, in my eyes, is the best man I know. He raised us. He was more of a stay-at-home parent because my he got the same move. And my mother worked, and he stayed home. He cooked the food, took us to the doctor, took care of my brother, who has autism. My mother did her best to raise us the right way. She didn't want to shelter us. She didn't want to baby us. So if we had to get out here on our own, we would survive. Oh, yes, we need the wine. Was she the strict one? Yeah. My mother didn't play, so you made sure you did everything by the book. I never met Grandpa before, have I? Well, you were a baby, because he died when you were little. Was he around? In my life? Yeah. No. He was never active in my life. There was some information she gave me that I didn't even know about, the backstories of her, her parents. When they came from Mississippi in the 1920s, I think. That they her live mom, in our... Her mom's mom was a slave. I never noticed. This is something new to me. I didn't know she went into a group home so young. Like I said, I went into foster care at 11. I had an issue where my father had beat me up because of something my stepbrother did. Oh, wow. I know, Do you like, remember when we were homeless? I don't remember when we were homeless. We were all homeless. Well, well, all I, six of us? Yes. Ah, oh, damn. Well, it was, it was situational. I mean, again, it goes back to affordable housing and having options. So how long were we homeless for? A little over six weeks. I didn't know, like, she had struggles, or I didn't know that we went without things. I didn't know that we were homeless at one point. I didn't even know that. So I remember even, like, lying to landlords how many children I had Damn. so that I could get an apartment. She carried a lot. She carried a lot. When I thought my life was hard, I'm pretty sure hers was even harder. With six kids, I couldn't even imagine. So how, how old were you when you went back to college, Mom? About 35. That's what I said in your 30s. When you were, like, 17. No matter how many years it took her, she went back to school. She got a good job. If she can overcome things, I think I can, too. Yeah, yeah we've been through a lot. I know we have. Yeah. It was really, really nice and comforting to, to be around my family. I live in a housing called Brickadite. I think I was on the waiting list for Brickadite for a good two years before they contacted me and told me they had something for me. Hey, babes. Come on in. I got into it because my mom was in it. My mom had it first. We lived in it for about 22 years. And that was, I think, one of the biggest blessings I had because Brickadite has it where we were rents based off your income, so if we didn't have this, I can't even tell you where we will be. Ooh. You ready for Thalia? Yeah. I have a daycare lady. Her name is Mcdalia. You're moving too slow, little feet. She's been watching all four of my kids since my oldest was two. He's 17 now. I'm gonna sit here for like 20 minutes. Hi. They call her my surrogate. I had the babies, but she takes care of them. Jay, come here. Where does this go? Put it where it goes. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, though. Where does this go? Aha. Uh -huh. I appreciate her so much. Because without her, I don't think I could have kept my job. Oh, I love you. I love you too. Oh. Oh. There's a second mom. Here we go, right? Oh, my baby. I applied for a program where the state will pay a portion of the babysitting, and the only job that she has as an income coming in is whatever she gets from the babysitting. 
They want this kind. The next yeah. book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one is the real one for yeah. milk, and it's a different taste, so that's Maybe. why he likes this one. Come on. Maya's over there. <laughs> that's her favorite corner. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't trade her for anything. I gotta go back to work. My break is over. You wanna be a good boy? Yeah. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye, my Maya. Maya, say bye to mommy. Bye, mommy. Bye, bye. bye baby. I don't want what I have for myself, for my kids. I remember my seven-year-old telling me when he gets bigger, he's going to go work at my store. And that's not what I would want for him. And I don't even know if, if I can call my job a career. I feel like um, if I had the proper tools or if I had the proper guidance, would I be somewhere else right now? Probably. Customer service needed in the baby department.